Welcome back to Prey Moon Crash. We're playing as Riley Yu. The next thing to do, at least the next thing I want to do, is attempt to get the Phantom Genesis 2 ability by scanning some weavers. And with that ability, we should be able to do something that will allow us to upload our mind, which will fulfill our escape objective. So, step one, scan some weavers. Oh god, here we go. Log said there would be weavers in here. I really hope there are. Otherwise, I have no idea where to look. Oh, Jesus! Well, that's not a weaver. That's a burning phantom. <laughs> Scannable power, super thermal 3. Alright, I think I'm going to take this thing out. Hmm. I can't use Psychoshock on it? Doesn't seem like I could target it. I guess... Oh, it's protected by the bubble of all its humans, right? Or something like that? Okay. Um, let's mind jack him then. Gotta wait for the ability to come back up three times. It's unprotected. Now I can't use side powers for 15 seconds. Ah, it's good at hiding. Come on. Come down here and fight me. I can't reach it. Oh, I didn't think that hit me. Also, I should take a Psy Hypo. Even if I jump, I can't reach it. <clears throat> Maybe I can lure it down here. I don't think it cares. Unfortunately, I'll never get the body. I mean... Well... Okay, let's try, right? Let's see if I can glue my way up there. Oh, it broke. I can't get anything to stick. Shit. Maybe you're like really, really not supposed to go up there.
Yeah, I guess not. I guess they just like render they set the surface to can't be glued. I'm sure there's still a way up there, but this isn't gonna work. Right, is there a weaver in here? There isn't. I thought maybe there'd be another force field thingy on the back here. Huh. Okay. Um, that means I need to go to areas that I've never been to before, I suppose. Because areas I have been to before, I've probably killed any weavers I came across. Oh, we got some engineering operators. I can psychoshock them. No, this is only biological targets. Right, mind jack. Yeah, none of these are going to work except Phantom Genesis if I find a body. Speaking of which, is there a body? Fight for me, friend. That's such a great ability. Thanks, Fyodor. Uh-oh. Poltergeist. Oh, no, that's my friend. I'm sorry. Please don't attack me. Good. Yeah. Good job. Okay, so if you hit your friends once, they don't aggro on you. Right, so tran- oh, I need to call it. That would help. Okay, let's search the crew annex for a weaver. Got a bunch of mimics to fight! God, that's such a powerful ability. So I should be trying to scan everything, just in case I missed anything, even if it's not a weaver. Oh! Oh shit, we have a radiation hazard here. Interesting. It's not just there's now radiation, but like the environment's changed. There's all these tarps around, like they've like a, like a chemical spill happened, and they sort of try to clean it up a bit. So I know. Ooh, hello. I know I've already been to all these areas, so not gonna be really uh, doing too much new stuff, although I might find new stuff, like this I think is new. It decreases the cooldown time of Psy Powers, so you have a chance to cast a Psy Power for free. That is very good. Is it better than what I already have, though? More maximum health, more Psy damage, maximum Psy pool plus 50. I don't think it's better than what I already have. Hmm. How much health do I lose without the beefy boy? That's responsible for 20 more health. That's pretty important. I'm, I'm not very strong. I think I'd rather be beefy than reactivated. Yeah, let's take a look at what's changed in the environment. Oh, shit. Okay. Don't get near the tarps. Typhon material detected. No Typhon material detected. Did me to shoot again? Oh! One suit integrity damaged. No time. Wow, 
Wow, there's a lot of enemies up there. Damn. Oh, I haven't seen those things in a while, right? The AoE things. Wow, you had a lot of loot on you, buddy. I know I've got Neuromods to spend, but the thing is I might need those Neuromods to get Phantom Genesis too. Because I'm going to unlock the Typhon mod, but I still need to spend Neuromods on it. Hence why I'm saving my Neuromods. Let's repair my suit, and there's no need to heal myself because I got a healing bot over here. Please help me, friend. I have incredible levels of junk. I need a recycler. Could probably make a lot of neuro mods. Right, so I think I if Whoa. I lethal radiation level. Yes, yes. Detected. I think if I recycle those, the radiation problem might go away. Assuming those are the only sources of radiation. As long as I don't miss one of them. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Oh, oh shit. Okay, well. Oh, there's another one left. I don't know if it was the puddle or the other one that was hurting me. I want. I want. I... Ah. That's my only recycler. Don't have any other way to just remove that thing from existence. I could try to blow it up. I don't think that would be good. The fact that all this radiation is right here, which seems to be blocking the way to the control tower, it makes me think there might be something good in the control tower, so... Uh oh There's radiation up here, too? Okay, well, it's not horrible. And I do have anti-rad pills. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be fine. Let's just be quick, I guess. Escape pod failsafe. Ooh, VJ Batia can do this. I don't remember ever going up here, actually. Did I ever go up here? Fight. time thing. I don't think they noticed it. Oh right, it was just those things causing the radiation. Okay, so we're good. Yeah, let's explore this place thoroughly, now that I know we haven't been here. Traffic report, quiet day up there. Standard transit from shuttle advent from Talos to Earth. One mass driver payload dispatched. Incoming military shuttle, no other traffic anticipated, and report. Inbound shuttle not responsive. Officer Blessing, I have lost voice contact with the inbound shuttle from Talos. Comm systems are functional, and telemetry indicates the ship has initiated an automated landing procedure. I will continue hailing the crew, but I thought it might be prudent to alert you to the deviation. If contact is re-established, I will notify you. Oop, oh, didn't mean to do that, sorry. Crew Annex Utility. Well, it's gotta be an area I haven't been to. Oh, three neuromods. Warning. Lethal radiation levels detected. I've got eleven neuromods at this point. Feels ridiculous to have that many, but I don't know how many I'm gonna need for the Phantom Genesis ability. Oh, might as well raid the fridge, huh? Nerd alert. <laughs> uh, original message. How about Tremontine emailing the whole base looking for people to play that game? You want to sit around and talk in funny voices with him? No thanks, man. Run a poker game, though, and I'm in. <laughs> it's not so bad. Problem is Tremontine. Problem is Tremontine, not the game. No one will get a word in edgewise. Bremer says he got zero replies. 
Speaking of poker, let's do that. I might have some whiskey and cigars to share. Brim and a couple of others are in. See you in the rec room tonight. Skullduggery afoot. Hey, just heard a rumor that Rybok is going to change Patricia Young's shift schedule so that she won't be able to play for us in the next game. If that's true, it's total bullshit. I wouldn't put it past him, though. The crater craters can't win without pulling something like that. I'll cover her shift if it comes to that. The team needs her way more than me. Things are getting serious with those basketball games. So escape pod fails safe. Obviously not relevant at the moment, but I guess if you're playing as VJ and you needed the escape pods to work, this maybe could make them work. Or if I could just hack it. And the shuttle is down there. I guess I could just go escape in the shuttle, right? I have the pilot ability. So that's always an option. If I just want to escape with this character just to get some bonus points. Oh right, as soon as I get down there I better run. Okay. Uh, where to now? Still looking for a weaver. I guess we go to crew facilities. We turn on the music. I know you're over there, Thermal Mimic 4. Mimic Matter 2 and 3. Well, those are the scannable powers anyway. Looks like I just unlocked Mimic Matter 3. realize the music just stopped. That's creepy. I guess it I guess it doesn't loop, I guess it just stops when it ends. But why was it playing in the first place? Anyways, there get machine mind 2 from it. Oh, there's a friendly one. Hey, buddy. Diagnosing, bruising, abrasions, and fatigue. So let me just catch you up on what happened. I was going through a level transition, and the game crashed. That's super, super bad for this game, particularly because I'm not saving all the time. There's not a lot of checkpoints just when you do a, a load between a level. So I lost a huge amount of progress. Like, I didn't even remember what I had done between the save point and when it had crashed. And I was missing, like, seven Neuromods or something, or something ridiculous like that. Like, I was missing a lot of the stuff that I had gotten. So, I'm just gonna escape through the shuttle. Since it's right nearby, I'll get some points for it. I, I don't feel like doing this run anymore with this character. Not that I've lost tons of my progress. It just feels, like, wasted. So, before I escape, let's go ahead and spend my Neuromods. I've got six, so I'm gonna spend five of them on Psychoshock 3. God, it's gonna do so much damage. 108 damage. Fire hazards detected. Yes. Yeah, I think I detected them as well. 
Okay, so this time I'm playing- I've reset the simulation by the way. This time I'm playing as Vijay Bhatia. The reason being, I know that their story objective is now unlocked. So now I can actually do their story objective. Which I need to do for every single character, and I haven't done a single one because they've all been been locked up until now. Uh, let's see, you find the memory marker in the crew annex. That's to begin the crew member's story objective. So it's somewhere up here. And these hazards, hazards are interesting. Doesn't seem like it's much of a danger to me, really, but it's visually very interesting. Also on the lookout for any weavers or anything I can scan. Hopefully I can scan them on behalf of Riley. Ooh. Well, take Mimic. Haven't scanned you. Please come back. Scanning. Type of material detected. Yes! Mimic Matter 3. Available. What, who do you think you're fooling transforming into a briefcase right in front of me? Okay, we're nearing the memory marker. Looks like it's in the habitation modules. Oh, hey. I've never been to Riley Yu's personal room as Riley Yu. Obviously, I can't get in there right now as this character. I would need hacking one. But I wonder if I came here as Riley Yu if I'd be able to get in. I don't know, because it looks like I can't even enter the passcode normally. Looks like I have to hack it, because it's, like, broken. So maybe it wouldn't make any difference if I did come here with her. Oh, now that's interesting. It's covering the whole hallway. Hmm. Okay, so I think the scanning is reset between sessions, because I've definitely scanned these before. So when you reset the simulation, it looks like it resets the scans. And what the scans do is give you the ability to get new abilities. Um, so <laughs> basically, if you scan them and don't get the ability, you kind of lost what you did, other than, of course, the points that you get for scanning it. So if you want it to stick, you need to not only scan to get the ability within a run, but also actually get the ability, spend the neural mods on it, and then it'll stick. Warning. Fire hazards detected. Oh, I need in there. Okay, we gotta track down... What? We gotta track down... Robert Scooter Tate. Robert Tate. Robert Tate. Oh, hey! Didn't even need to find a security computer, which is good, because I have no idea where one is. Robert Scooter Tate is just in the basketball court. Oh my god. That is very strange looking. Officer Bhatia, this is Director Yu. Your men are being slaughtered. Where are you? It's not the Typhon. It's Claire Witten. She's a Chasma spy. She's been here long enough to have her hooks into everything by now. You have to track her down. Do not let her get off the base. Do you understand? I can't be distracted by this right now. Handle it, Bhatia. I'm counting on you. Find Claire Witten. So, the uh, it sounds like the character I'm playing as uh, outside of the simulation is not the Cosmos Spy then, right? If it's Claire, Claire's the custodian, right? The one character we haven't unlocked. I think. So my character is a... Well, I don't know if they're a drunk, but at least they definitely were drinking when they woke up. 
Was this like the last moments of this character? Is that what I'm reliving? Is everything outside the same or... Or what? Maybe it's just like a strange mixture of the two. But like this, for example, is this new or... Death Notice, Samir Bhatia. Um, Office of War Records from Colum Colombo, Sri Lanka. Dear Mr. Bhatia, it is with great sorrow that I must inform you of the death of your son, Senior Corporal Samir Bhatia. This office received a casualty report which states that your son died during an engagement against pirates in the Bay of Bengal. The report submitted by Corporal Bhatia's commanding officer states your son's actions led to the rescue of more than 23 hostages. At this time, we cannot reveal more concerning the events surrounding the loss of your son, but as more details are declassified, we will endeavor to keep you informed. Our deepest sympathies are with you and your family. Damn. It's no wonder they were drinking. Why does this have a special symbol next to it? Nullifies a target's psionic abilities. Whoa. Holy crap. How exactly has the shotgun been modified with magic powers? I'll take your shift from Casey Fletcher. Officer Batia, sir, I know you've got some shit news today. Uh, so how about I take your shift? From what I can tell, it's just the usual trouble down in Moonworks. Take this time to, well, do whatever the hell you need to do. You've earned it, and we've got your back. Sounds like Batio is well liked. So, w w what exactly is my quest now? Right, find Claire Witten. Use a security station to locate Claire Witten. Ah, crap. I still need to find a security station. I still don't know where they are. Oh. Hi. I'll just leave them in there. They're fine. Robots don't attack other robots. Yeah, so this is all the same. So it, it is a, a melding of memories with the environment that I already was in. And of course, we've got new enemies now that the corruption level increased. Oh, hey, thanks for reminding me that I could go in here. A couple neural mods. An advanced Q beam. Nice. Oh my god, look at this shotgun! It's got two of those little piston things! Oh, that is so cool! That is incredibly cool looking. Alright, I got a bunch of neural mods. Yeah, I got six of them. Let's get firearms to damage with security weapons increased to 150%. No Typhon detected. Typhon material did no Typhon detected. I'm up here in the control tower. Got something I can do that's new, also. Got this to deal with. There's one more. Where'd it go? Must be hiding. Where's the other one? There was definitely two. Ah, well. It'll come out if it wants to. Anyway, up here we have this computer that needs my password. Regarding pod C7281. From VJ to Claire. Uh, hey VJ, you won't believe this shit. They've got me cleaning escape pods now. Just hitting the one today, so could you give me the code to pod C7281? It'll save me a lot of hassle trying to get one of the officers here to help. As always, you're a lifesaver. And from VJ, just this once because I trust you. Code to that pod is 9575. I'll be changing the code EOD. End of day. Wow. Yeah, so Claire really got integrated in with everybody and developed friendships and people trusted them. By the way, I should be writing down those passwords. 
finally found the computer to locate people. It's, uh, it's right before the shuttle. Right here. I got a security officer out, by the way. Just a typical operator, but it's also got a gun. So, I found Claire. They are in Moonworks. Yep, Claire Witten, Custodian Moonworks, and apparently, they have life signs. And on that note, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're going to head to Moonworks and try to find Claire Witten. <laughs>